Hey guys, it's Abby from Autumn of Pelinor and today I'm talking about some Welsh authors. So St David's Day this year is on the 1st of March 2019 and I thought that I would give you some recommendations of Welsh authors that I've had a search for um, that you could read on that day, for that day, whatever. Um, I haven't actually read these authors myself, so some of these books are going on my TBR. Um, I just, I feel like any other British people who are watching me, we do tend to focus on England, and then even when you're not doing that, you focus on whichever one you have a connection to, which for me is Scotland, because I'm half Scottish. So I thought that for each of the four saints, I would do a video this year. Uh, so yes, we're starting with St David's as that comes up first. So here are some Welsh authors. First up we have Sarah Waters. She wrote Fingersmith alongside many other books. I actually unhauled this one so this is probably not one I'm going to add back to my TBR. There must have been a reason I unhauled it and there's plenty of other books but she does many many feminist LGBT sort of books as far as I know. Um, she has so 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 many books out so if I'm wrong there's probably one that fits in that. Um, and I definitely definitely recommend having a look if you like historical fiction. I think she's more along the lines of Philippa Gregory who I've not read yet. Then we have Gillian or Gillian Clark, I'm not sure how she pronounces her name, um, and the book that I found in reference to her is The Sundial. This is where it starts getting concerning. I don't know how to pronounce this last name. First name Danny, last name Absen? Abs? A-B-S-E is what I've got written down. Um, and he wrote Speak and Old Parrot. Then for a more modern one we have Crystal Jeans who wrote Light Switches Are My Kryptonite, which sounds really odd. This one's on the TBR, as well as a few of the others. As a last one for non-fiction we have, as you can tell I'm reading off a sheet, Goron we win? Apologies. Uh, this is even going to be worse. The book has been adapted into English, but I only noted down the Welsh title. Blood Dow Kimru Bide e Okay, yeah, laugh at me down in the comments below. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> I'll put them in the description as well, so you can just copy and paste them into Google and find the English. I try to get a variety of genres and ages, um, as in like when it was written, whether it's more recent or not, and also this one that is in Welsh. I think quite a few of them are published in Welsh, seeing as they're Welsh authors, they seem to be. Welsh people are quite proud of their language, as are Irish. Scotland, however, I don't know a single word, neither does my mother, who is fully Scottish. It's a shame. Um, but yeah, so I try to do a wide range of things um, and do a little bit of a mix. This is just a short little video. For those of you who aren't British, we have four saints for the four countries. Um, and St David is the patron saint of Wales. Um, I will be doing the patron saint of England, Scotland and Ireland as I go throughout the year and as those dates come up. Apparently the way you say Happy St David's Day in Welsh is Ditha Goyal Dewi Hapis. Let me know how badly I butchered that down in the comments below. And a little factoid for you, leeks are a symbol of St David and a national thing of Wales because he told them when they went into battle to wear leeks in their headgear to avoid friendly fire. Um, which to be fair would work. There's a bloke with a leaf in his hat, a leaf, a leek in his hat. He's on your side. Don't think the other side would put leeks in the hats. So <laughs> it was probably actually a very effective thing. So yes, just a short little video, nothing too in-depth. I'm sure more people have done things more in-depth about St David's Day. If you want, just Google it. I'm sure there's plenty. Even here on YouTube, I'm sure there's plenty. But I hope you give some of these a try and depending on how busy I am. I'll try and read at least one of them in March. Um, coursework has been keeping me underwater a bit. <laughs> Exams, coursework, thesis. Ah, 
um, <laughs> too busy, too, too busy. But uh, <laughs> if you do have the time, and if I have the time, we should try and read some of them. Just because I think we do focus predominantly on English authors and American authors and kind of ignore Canadians and Welsh and English and Scottish and yeah. Everything's mainly US and then English and then Canadian and then it's not great. Um, I may expand this in the future to kind of include other countries and things like that but for now I'm just sticking with home base. So thank you so so much for watching guys and I hope that these videos will develop as time goes on and I may have to revisit St David's Day so if they do get better don't worry Welsh people I'll make my St David's one better next year. If you want to see some more from me my blogs, blogs? blog, uh, Twitter, Instagram and my Goodreads are all linked down below and if you hit that red subscribe button you can see more of my videos. Thank you so so much for watching guys and again another attempt Dita Goyle de Happy or Happy St David's Day on the 1st of March. Bye!